yeah the recording is going on so my first concern is like am i audible <laughs> number one and number two my screen is visible to all of you good okay so first of all thanks all of you to joining this particular session i really appreciate see we are from the technical background we are from the technical background to survive in the technical field to survive in the technical field you need to be like you need to get exposure of the latest technology we need to go through with these kind of thing always like this is how the things is going on because remember the software industry when i'm talking about it's not like that today i'm going to learn the individual technology and i am going to survive the whole life it's not like that this industries keep moving and we need to match the frequency so i really appreciate everyone is busy nowadays everyone is busy people don't have the time but still you people have some time to get the exposure of the most demanding and the latest thing in the industry so first of all i really appreciate and thanks all of you for joining this session i am santosh i am working as a technical specialist and it's more than 15 plus year of experience i have i am working in a california based company as a technical specialist my area of specialization that i am working for it's about the rpa the ui path the power automate mainly i am working for the ui path and the power automate power automate like from last one year i am working for this ui path i am working for it's more than 5 years other than this rpa my area of expertise that i am working for it's about the python it's about the data science like uh, it's about the dot net it's about the databases see my profile is technical specialist what i need to do i need to provide the technical assistance to the entire team we have so this is my responsibility to get the exposure of all these things and always people are facing the problem and i need to give the solutions to them whenever the new technology will be there in the market this is my responsibility to go through with that and give the exposure of the entire team the people having the problem with the project i am going to work for them so my profile is this that's why i am working with the different technologies and all this particular session that we are going to start with it's about the rpa ui path the first questions comes in the mind the normally people are asking me this question the first question santos lot of institutions are there they are providing the training in the rpa ui path obviously we have lots of recording is there in the youtube lots of thing is available in this uh, google and all then why i am going to attend your session i am going to pay for that what is the advantage of attending your session how it is different from all the existing resource we have yeah that's the practical question try to understand i am taking all these online session online session from last 3 years around i'm taking all these online session from last 3 years around what my opinion is we have the youtube channels so many contents are available with the google so many training institutions are there how my training is different my answer is my answer is they are going to give you the training they are going to give you the exposure of the activities like okay this particular task you need to do this is the activities that we are going to apply and we are going to perform the task but what they are not talking about 
they are not talking about the use cases number one they are not talking about the use cases the scenarios in what scenario what we need to do they are not talking about the scenarios they are not talking about the use cases they are not talking about the scenarios they are not talking about the use cases they are going to tell you okay this is the message box activity used to display this is the excel activity used to do this so this particular activity is going to do this task but here i am going to explain you what are the tasks we can apply what activities we can apply from the performance point of view what are the things is uh, like that will be the better options for you try to understand we are working in the companies so we know exactly what people are lacking behind learning the technology is not enough what you need to do the implementation part is important where we are going to implement that we need to understand how that particular task how that particular activity is going to work in the real time that's the important thing and here i am talking about that my entire training is is practical based whenever the theoretical thing is required we are going to put the theoretical stuff suppose i am going to work with the particular things definitely i need to describe that now why we are using this what is the utilities of that what happen if i am not going to use this particular things what is the advantage of using this activities and all and then i am going to give you the entire practical exposure and here we don't have the limitation i am not going to ask you like no no this is not our syllabus oh no no this is not we are going to do this try to understand this is the learning platform we have and this is the learning platform for you as well as for me also so many times i am getting the new things in the training itself so we are going to cover each and everything we are talking about the scenarios we are talking about the use cases what is the practical implementation in the real time when we are working for the company what are the things we need to do so this way my entire training is is completely different remember always i am talking about this rpi ui path i am not talking about the ui path only i am talking about the complete profile you people are not going to get the job if you have the exposure of the rpi ui path it's only going to cover the 70% of the entire rpi ui path remaining 30% that also we need to focus on oh what i am trying to say to get the job remember with one technology we are not going to get the job in the industry if i am working with the java if i am working with the dot net it's not going to help me out if i am working with the java i should have some exposure of the database oracle if i am working with the dot net i should have some exposure with the sql server the same way if i am working with the rpi ui path few extra things are there that we need to learn to get the job how you can justify this how you can justify my this line if you are going to open any job portal if you are going to open the nokri.com and all they are not asking only the rpi ui path along with the rpi ui path they are looking for certain extra things over there okay what they are looking for i will discuss about so this particular training is all about the complete profile how to get the job this complete training is it's all about all, complete profile i am talking about see why people are going to attend my session i am telling you why people are going to attend my session what they are going to get extra how it's going to be beneficial for them if people are not getting the result then they are not going to attend the session there is no any use of that i am telling you i just want to show you like see these are the batches it's already get completed o, o stand for ocr <laughs> ocr stand for it's old current running batches were there it's recently get completed recently get completed these are the current batches it's going on these are the current batches is going on these are the old ui path batches it's get completed earlier six months back one year back like that so what i'm talking about i don't want to show you all this oh i am uh, like so many people no no what i'm trying to show you like people are getting the good result 
so that's why this entire session it's all about the complete profile i am talking about i am talking about the complete profile i am not talking about the rpa ui path only along with the rpa ui path you need to we have some exposure of the web api other important components are there that we will discuss this is the first thing so this is how my training is entirely different i am not going to tell you the bookish thing over here anyone can do that anyone can open the tutorial and they can learn that along with the and believe me believe me even if you have the exposure of the ui path from very first session you are going to learn the new things right yeah this is the line important for you sometimes it's happen like people are attending the session and they are uh, they are telling me like santosh i have some exposure in the ui path that's good i really appreciate but believe me still from the first session you are going to get the new things in my session you are going to get the new things in every particular session even you are working in the ui path from my first session you are going to get the new things that when we will start with the things then you will get that okay so what i am talking about first of all i am going to discuss about the course content before the course content some other dots are there that i would like to clear so this is how my session is different now the second thing the people are asking me the question santos why we are going for the rpa y path what is the future scope what is the future scope we are going to get the job in the rpa y path is going to stay in the market what is the future what is the future scope of this rpa y path after doing all these rpa y path and all i am going to get the job what is the market scenario try to understand what is this rpa this rpa is all about the automation this rpa it's all about the automation you are going to automate the process robotic process automation you are going to automate the process so now you can ask me the question what is this automation what does it mean the automation remember here we are not going to develop any new things in the rpa we are not going to develop any new things we are not going to develop it's not about the development in the rpa we are not going to develop the website in the rpa we are not going to develop the mobile application in rpa we are not going to develop the windows application oh so rpa is not about the development yes it's not about the development for the development you need to learn the java you need to learn the dot net you need to learn the python you need to learn the asp dot net okay so what this rpa is going to do rpa is all about the automation number 1 what does it mean the automation suppose we are working in the companies every day every day what we need to do lot of repeated task we need to do lot of repetition will be there like uh, so many repeated task we need to do suppose my responsibility is suppose i am working for a company insurance company and uh, my responsibility is uh, daily what i need to do i need to send the reminder mail to the client regarding the payment so what i am going to do i am going to open my machine i am going to open the excel getting the data from there according to the due date i am going to apply the filter getting the mail id from the uh, custom of the customer going to open the gmail or going to open the outlook and then i am going to send the mail to the client one by one suppose we have the 5000 record for this particular due date i am going to send one by one i am sending the mail to the client and this is the entire day i need to do this because every customer having the different name having the different profile having the different policies having the different amount so with every particular mail individual we are going to send the mail we are going to compose the mail and we are sending the mail to the client this is my routine job what my rpa can do in this scenario my rpa can be implemented what my rpa will do huh, automatically it will get a start in the morning 10 am it will get a start according it will open the excel it will get all the record 
according to the due date. It will get all the mail ID. It will compose the mail. It will send the mail to the client. Boss, you don't need to do anything. Oh, really? Yes, you don't need to do anything. You don't know. My job is I just need to start the board. Even if I'm not going to start the board, it can start automatically. So my, my concern is every company having the repetitive task, either the call center, either the bank, either the manufacturing company, the export house, software company, any particular company having so many repetitive tasks over there, my RPA can be implemented in that place. RPA is all about the automation. Here we are not going to develop any new things. In RPA, you are not going to develop the website. In the RPA, you are not going to develop the mobile application. Suppose you are my client and you are going to ask me. <coughs> you are going to ask me. Santos, uh, in my company, this is the job we, are, um, uh, we have to do. And uh, we are using this particular process. Can you, uh, your RPA is going to be implemented in my company? My first question will be, can you show me how you people are doing all these things manually? And then you are going to show me Santos first I'm going to open the outlook getting the data fetching the data and all then I'm sending the reply to the customer. Oh, what my RPA will do my RPA will get developed it will develop the process and automatically it will complete all the tasks. So RPA is all about the automation number one. Number two. RPA is the part of data science and AI artificial intelligence when I'm talking about the RPA this RPA only the RPA I'm talking about like right now every particular company they are looking for the solution the RPA why they are looking for <laughs> because they want to reduce the cost how they can reduce the cost what company believe reducing the manpower is the best way to reduce the cost suppose in my company we have the 100 employees 50 employees going to perform the repetitive task what my RPA will do my RPA will do automate all the entire process the company is going to get the benefit of that they don't need to pay the salary for the remaining 50 employees or what they can do they can utilize that 50 employee for some other marketing stuff so individually the RPA is in demand along with the individual strength RPA is the part of data science and AI RPA is the part of integral part of the data science and artificial intelligence in the data science what you need to do we need to collect the data how to collect the data again the RPA in the data science what we need to do we need to visualize the data we need to represent the data in the visual form for that purpose we are going to apply some tools over there but I want to automate the process how we are going to do that RPA so RPA is the part of the DS data science and AI so number one regarding the demand yes boss right now this is the best technology right now this is the best technology to start your career to get into the job get into the software because this is the new things people are looking for what the advantage you people are going to get like right now I am telling you <coughs> sorry I am telling you even the people from even the people from uh, software background uh, they are going to ask me the question Santos what is RPA can you think about the people from the software background they are going to ask me what is RPA then I need to describe that okay RPA stands for robotic process automation so what I'm trying to say, this is the new technologies, the new things in compared to the .NET, Java, Python and all. Number one. Number two. So the demand is there. Number two. Easy to use. Oh. People are asking me the question. Santos, uh, I don't have the coding exposure. I am not from the software background. Can I do this RPA UI path? My answer is, if you can operate the machine, if you can work with the MS office, you can work with the RPA UI path. If you can operate the machine, if you can work with the MS office, 
you can work with the RPA UI path. So it's in demand. Got the point? It's easy to implement. Anyone can work with this RPA. RPA. That's the advantage of the RPA we have. Here you don't need to be the programmer. You don't need to write lines of the code. Yeah, the one line or the two lines of the code you need to write. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. You don't need to write the lines of the code over here. What we need to do? So easy to implement, easy to learn. You just need to do the practice. And believe me, if you are going to follow the session, the entire duration of the course is the two months around. So it will take around the two months. The entire duration of the session is around two months. Okay, so what I am talking about, what I am talking about, I am talking about the future A scope is there, easy to implement, easy to design, easy to develop. And again, this is the kind of the thing it's required in every industry. That's why it's in demand and people are using this. Now you can ask me the question, what about the UI path? In RPA, we have the multiple tools are there. Like we have the blue prism. We have the automation anywhere. We have the power automate. We have the nice multiple tools are there. But the UI path having the maximum features we have. UI path, the strength of the UI path. In the entire RPA industry, 60% it's around UI path. So it's in demand. That's the good thing about the RPA UI path. So you don't need to worry about the jobs and all. And I'm telling you, if you are going to attend the session, every day you are going to get the recording and everything will be there with you. You just need to do the practice. After the two months, you will be ready for the job. You will be job ready. You can go for the interviews and all. So what I'm trying to say, the future is there, the scope is there, easy to implement. If you have some exposure of the computer, you can work with this RPA UI path. Now, what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the course content. The entire RPA UI path, I'm going to divide my course content into the three parts. Number one, the core portion. Number two, the advanced portions. And number three, others that I was talking about the profile. In the core portion, initially we are going to learn about what we are going to learn about. We are going to learn about the RPA. What is this RPA? Why this RPA? What are the life cycle of the RPA? What is the advantages of the RPA? We are going to discuss each and everything about the RPA. Then we are going to work with, we are going to install. We are going to start with the installations and all. Installations about the UI path. We are going to install the UI Bath Studio. This is the software we have. And then we are going to start with the topics. The first of all, we are going to learn about the workflow. Here we have the different types of workflow is there. So what is this workflow? What are the different types of workflow we have in the UI Path? We are going to discuss about that. Then we are going to dis discuss about how we are going to display something. At the time of display, so many options are there we have. We are talking about how we can go for the input. This is the first thing you are going to start any technologies. You are going to learn about how to display, how we can go for the input. After that, we are going to learn the basics of any particular technologies. In this basics, what we are going to learn about? We are going to learn about the different activities over there. Here we have the activities. So we are going to learn about the different activities over there. What we are going to learn about? We are going to learn about how to use the assign activity. We are going to learn about how to use the if activity. We are going to learn about how to use the for activity, loop activities. We have the different types of loop is there. We have the while loop. We have the repeat number of time. A repeat number of time. Number of time. We have the do while loop. 
we are going to learn about the for each loop we are going to learn about the array we are going to learn about the list we are going to learn about the break continue remember these are the alphabets these are the alphabets of the ui path suppose i want to learn the book i want to read the book i want to write something at first what we need to learn we need to learn a to z all the alphabets we need to learn so the same thing in the ui path if i want to do something we should learn about how to apply the if statement effectivities how we are going to apply the yes please what about the others my screen is visible to you it's visible okay so uh, if you have the problem now you just can disconnect and again connect it will get resolved sometime it's happen if it's going to be problem for other people also then i will do something <laughs> but if it's uh, only your problem then you can disconnect and connect again just wait yeah it's my screen is visible to all of you okay that's good good so initially we are going to learn about the uh, about the rpa the future scope what exactly the rpa is then we are going to learn about the installation about the software then we are going to learn about the different workflow we are going to use the display how to display the message we are going to use about the input all the basics activities we are going to learn how to use the assign activity how to apply the if loop while repeat number of time do while for each we are going to learn about the array list break continue all these things we are going to learn these are the alphabets of the ui path after this we will start with our automation journey rpa is all about the automation now our alphabet is ready so what we can do we are going to start with our automation journey in our automation journey what we are going to start with first of all we are going to start with the excel automation in the excel automation lot of things we are going to learn what are the tasks that you can do in the ui path in the excel we are going to do that in the excel automation we are going to learn along with the excel automation we are going to learn about the data table we are going to learn about the data row we are going to learn about the data column we are going to learn about how to read the excel how to write into the excel how we are going to apply the formula how we are going to apply the formula how we are going to apply the micro how we are going to apply the lookup how we are going to work with the dynamic data how we are going to apply the filter how we are going to apply the join how we are going to apply the merge how we are going to transpose the data row into the column and column into the row so many things are there and we are going to learn everything no need to worry about so many interviews questions are there we are going to discuss all these questions after my entire session if you people are going to show some level of experience of one year or two year believe me you people can justify that if you are going to put the experience like okay i have the exposure of two year in the rpa ui path from xyz company the people are going to ask you the question that question you people will be able to answer them easily you can justify one year of experience one and half year of experience up to two year of experience you can easily justify after this entire session and remember from very first session you are going to learn the new things okay if you have some back exposure about the ui path after this excel automation what we are going to learn about we are going to learn about the word automation oh suppose you have the doc file how you are going to automate that how we are going to read the word file how we are going to put the excel table into the word file how we are going to get the images from the word file how we are going to put the images into the word file how we are going to apply the mail merge 
so all these things we are going to learn after that we are going to learn about the pdf automation how we are going to extract the data from the pdf how we are going to extract the images from the pdf how we are going to learn about like suppose some image is going to contain the text how we are going to get that particular text that text is available in the form of image how we are going to do that so we are going to learn about all these things over there the pdf automation we are going to learn about the pattern data the structure data and all then we are going to learn about the selector selector is what it's a kind of xml code remember in the ui path when you are going to apply the automation no? in the background it's going to generate the code that code is basically the selector so using the selector they are going to identify oh this is the button this is the text box this is the label using that they are going to analyze the things like so we are going to discuss about the different selectors over there we have the different types of selectors are there so we are going to discuss about all these selectors and all after that we are going to learn about the recording recording means what we have the desktop recording we have the web recording we have the image recording we have the ai cv recording we are going to discuss about all these recording we are going to discuss about the scrapping how you are going to scrap the data suppose from the website i need to pull all the data suppose i am going to open flipkart.com i am going to open the amazon.com i am going to get the all list of all the mobile i want to get all the data into the excel so we are going to apply the scrapping how we are going to scrap the data we are going to learn about the scrapping the recording we are going to learn about the mail automation how we are going to send the mail how we are going to read the mail how we are going to send the attachment how we are going to send the single file how we are going to send the multiple files over there how we are going to put the html content how we are going to get the data from the excel and put the entire data into the html table in the form of body of the mail how we are going to do that so we are going to learn about the mail automation using the gmail using the outlook we are going to do that after this we are going to learn about the config file we are going to learn about the config file we are going to learn about the dictionary dictionary after that we are going to learn about the error handling we are going to learn about the error handling and debugging we are going to learn about the error handling and debugging after that we are going to learn about we are going to learn about how to work with the different workflow how we are going to work with the different workflow here we are getting the theoretical concept of the workflow what are the different workflow here we are going to apply that workflow then we are going to discuss about how to work with a string how to work with the date and time how we are going to work with the regex all these things we are going to learn and what are the topic i am mentioning over there it's not touch and go remember we are going to cover each and everything over there what can be the possible questions for the interviews what can be the different scenarios what can be the different use case over there we are going to discuss everything it's not like that i am going to try to understand like uh, basically i am taking all this session on behalf of myself it's not like any xyz institutions are there and i am going to take the session for them this is not my job this is my personal work i am working for you and that's why it's my responsibility to provide you the quality stuff over there so everything we are going to discuss in the detail and we are going to do and one important thing i am not going to do any rnd with you people it's happened no sometimes the people are going to start with the session and they don't have the knowledge and all they are going to do the rnd uh, rnd with you research and development they are going to make the they are going to do the experiment with you i am not going to do any experiment with you it's my regular work i am working with this technology i am working with this technology i am living with this technology 
it's my like it's my not regular practice i'm working for so i am not going to do any r and d oh it's not working oh it's working sometimes it's not working sometimes it's not working boss 99% of the time what are the things we are going to write has to work yeah one time 1% one is there for the typing mistake and all that so i am not going to do any r and d so you don't need to worry about means you are in the safe end it's not like that oh you, sometime it's happen no people are going to attend the you know, lots of time it's happened with me also lots of time it's happened with me also we are going to start with a session and the people who is taking the session having don't, don't expose it at all and they are just trying to put the it's not like that i am taking the time for the entire session it's a two months time i am taking some of the time people are asking me the question some of the time people are asking me the question santos why you are taking two months and all boss what i believe technology is the kind of thing that need to digest we are not going to learn the technology we are going to digest the technology that's important i am taking so many times i am taking the corporate batches also so many times it's happened like i i am getting because i am in this business boss so i am getting this much of op opportunities with the different companies and all and people are giving me the two days time santosh you have saturday and sunday and you need to complete the entire rpa wiper i can make it in one day boss i don't have the problem because i don't need to open the slide i don't need to open the notes i don't need to open the google and all i just need to get start got it but what I, why i am taking this much of time the reason is what i believe i am writing the code it's not my it's i'm it's not my achievement you people need to write the code you are going to do the things you are going to do the practice that's my achievement that's why i am taking the enough time the two months so you people can do the practice and everything properly i am going to suppose i am going to start with this particular topic what you need to do after the session you need to do some practice now and everyone is busy nowadays that's why my session pattern is we are going to do the session in the alternate day we are going to do this on the alternate day it's a monday wednesday friday and saturday or we can make it like tuesday thursday saturday and sunday so this is my normal pattern of the session so it's a four day session we have it's more than enough we have some special session on sunday also that depends in month you are going to get one or two extra session on sunday so this is the initial thing we are going to learn about after this initial this is the core portion of the ui part after this this is the time to develop the project your question was there na santosh why we are going to attend your session so many things is available in the youtube and google and all believe me what i am going to cover you are not going to find it maximum of the things i will underline that but what about this when we are going to learn any new technology everyone will tell you everyone will tell you boss learning the new technology is not enough you need to do the practice you need to work with the project now when we are going to learn the technology when we are going to learn the technology it's fine but when we are talking about the project it's really a tough task for anyone to work with the project and finally we are writing in the google normally it's a normal practice people are writing in the google how to develop project in ui path so many options we are getting finally we are going to make it close and we are not going to do anything here we are going to develop the project and good thing about this project is i am going to develop this project for you okay this is my responsibility to complete the project means i am going to develop the project for you now you can ask me the question santosh what will be the special in that project remember when we are going to develop the project other than the coding lot of things we need to do during the coding again lot of things we need to do after the completion of the project lot of extra things we need to do and i am going to show you how to develop the project from a to z everything will be there 
from the nomenclature the naming conventions up to the release of the memory and these are the things you boss you people are not going to get with the any google or any youtube and all so we are going to learn all these stuff over there with the regarding the projects and all this is the project that i am going to develop with you i am going to describe the entire project i am going to put everything with you i am going to share the recording with you what you people need to do you just need to go through with the recording step by step and you need to complete the project that project will be yours once you are ready with the project how to start the project how to end the project what are the things we need to do before the coding what are the things we need to do after the coding during the coding what are the things we need to do if you are familiar with the things you can develop any project so many time people are asking me the question santosh this will be the live project boss try to understand how i am going to give my company project to you no one can do that project is always project nothing is dummy project or live project that depends on us how we are going to treat with the project how we are going to work with the project what is the difference between normal so many times that people are asking me the question like santos uh, uh, you are going to give the real time project real time project means some client will be there for them you are going to develop the project here we don't have the client and i cannot take that risk like you are going to develop the client project how anyone can do that yes project will be there that we are going to work with and we are going to understand everything of the project from the start to the end what we need to do we need to learn the same thing and that particular project you are going to mention in the resumes and all this project will be there you are going to put into the resumes the people are going to ask you about the project and you are going to explain them this project is from my side on the basis of this particular project you are going to develop the another project okay so at first you need to develop this project this project i am going to give you with all the explanation all the recording and everything and after that i am going to take the live session of this project definitely the recording will be there and after that on the basis of this project you need to develop some one extra project so this is the end of this particular portion of the core initially after that we are going to start with the advanced portions of the ui path in the advanced portions of the ui path what i am talking about the most important thing the most important thing the people are talking about the re framework re framework a robotic enterprise framework this is the most important thing we have a robotic enterprise framework i am talking about and believe me because we are the social animal we are using the social platform <coughs> so many time i am getting the problems like people are going to ask me the question they are not in my friend list they are not in my contacts list they are just getting the randomly they are getting my numbers and all and they are going to put some text messages to me santosh i am facing the problem with the rfm 70% of the time people are facing the problem with this rfm the reason is their approach their approach is wrong their problem is there with their approach we are going to do with the re framework and before the re framework lot of things you need to learn and then we can apply with the re framework okay directly we cannot start with the re framework before the re framework you learn need to learn all these thing already we did that plus we are going to learn about the queue we are going to learn about the state machine we are going to learn about the global handler we are going to learn about the workflow different workflow and all the few topics already covered the few topics we need to cover and after that we will start with the re framework after this re framework again one project is waiting for you and we are going to develop the project and this particular project again it will be from my side on the basis of this you people need to develop the another project one project i am going to develop for you another project you people need to develop on the basis of this 
this project was without using RE framework and this project is by the use of RE framework. In the company normally if we are working now we can develop the project using the two things. Either we are going to apply this or we are going to apply this. Like you are not going to use the RE framework or you are going to use the RE framework. So that's why I am going to cover all these stuff over there. After that we are going to start with the orchestrator. We are going to start with the orchestrator. Orchestrator is a kind of dashboard we have. You can say it's a control panel kind of a stuff. So we are going to work with the orchestrator. We are going to add the robot. We are going to add the machine. We are going to add the job, the process, the packages, the queue, the storage bucket, the triggers, the scheduler. We are going to discuss all these things over there regarding this orchestrator. After this orchestrator, we are going to discuss about the forms, UiPath forms. We are going to discuss about the JSON data, how to work with the API and all. We are going to discuss about the XML, how to work with the XML. We are going to discuss about the reusable component, the library, the reusable component, component. We are going to discuss about the template. We are going to discuss about the template the reusable component. We are going to discuss about the template. We are going to discuss about the AICV, Artificial Intelligence Computer Vision. We are going to discuss about the document understanding. We are going to discuss about the document understanding. All these things we are going to cover in the advanced portions. After that, we are going to discuss about the database. How you are going to connect your UiPath with SQL Server how you are going to connect the UI path with MS Access, how you are going to use the Excel as a database. Here we are using the Excel automation. This is pure Excel automation using the UI path. Here we are going to use the Excel automation using the database command. We are going to apply the automation with the Excel. So we are going to discuss that. And before this database portion, the other portion we are going to cover. What is that exactly? We need to learn about the C sharp. Oh, so Santos, we are also going to learn the C sharp in the UI path. Yes, we are going to learn that. Now you can ask me the question, Santos, uh, in the UI path, it's fine. Why we are going to learn the C sharp? Remember, in the background of the UI path, .NET is working. Oh, the entire UI path is written in .NET. And under the .NET, we have the language called C sharp and BB.NET. If you have some knowledge, you don't need to be the master. You don't need to be the developer. You don't need to write the lines of the code. Okay. You just need to understand the few important concepts over there. And that we are going to learn. So we are going to learn all the required portions in this of the C sharp. We are also going to learn about the SQL server. Now you can ask me Santos, why we are going to learn about the SQL server? So you will get some exposure of the SQL command that we can implement in the UI path. How you can make the database connectivity if you don't have the knowledge of the SQL server. How we can make the database connectivity if you don't have the knowledge of the classes in library. So that's why we are going to work with this. Now you can ask me the question Santos, I am not from the coding background then. Boss, I am going to consider this by default. I am going to consider this, that people is not from the coding background. So I am going to start it from the scratch, from the A. So you don't need to worry about it. It's my responsibility. And the second thing, don't, uh, don't get the misunderstanding like you are going to write the lines of the code. No, 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 no. You just need to get some exposure. What are the different types of applications that we can develop? how to write the small things over there, how we are going to work with the oops and all, the small things we need to learn, that's it. Because if you have the good exposure of the C sharp, no? lot of extra things you can do. And every profile, every job portal, the nokri.com, times job, monster and all, in every job profile, people are looking for this. They are also looking for this. Because if you don't have the knowledge of the SQL server, SQL command and all, how you are going to make the database connectivity in the UI path boss. That's why we are going to learn this. Along with this, we are also going to learn the Python. Now you are going to ask me, Santos, why Python now? 
try to understand right now in the industry python is the hot cake language wise every company having the python application they have the uh, li libraries written in the python so suppose i am going to apply the automation and people are asking me shantosh we have the library in the python so can you use that particular library in the ui path yes we can and that's why we are going to learn the python and you don't need to worry about we are not going to do it's one month or two no no we are just going to get the exposure how to work with the software how to install how we can write the small programs over there how we are going to do the basic stuff and then the required portion we are going to discuss and we are going to connect the python with the ui path we are going to connect the c sharp with the ui path we are going to connect sql server with the ui path this is going to complete your profile after that in the interviews and all if people are asking you the question definitely you will be able to give the answer of that so this is the complete topics we have now people are asking me the question santosh uh, suppose i am going to miss the session our session timing will be this time like 8:30 to 9:30 okay tomorrow again we have the session tomorrow again we have the session and we will follow the time we will discuss about that we will follow the schedule like monday wednesday friday and saturday tomorrow again we have the session at the same time i will share the link with everyone at 30 pm ist okay people are asking me the question like santosh if i am going to miss the session no need to worry about recording will be there after every session you are going to get the recording you are going to get the notes and suppose uh, santosh i am facing the problem after 6 month it's a kind of lic no need to worry about i am taking all this session from it's uh, like it's a long process boss so you don't need to worry about even after 2 year you are going to ask me the question i will be there no need to worry about so suppose you have the problem you have the multiple option go through the recording you just text me i will assign you some different batch i have the batches with the different topics and all i can assign you some different batch if you want to like after 6 month you are going to forget any particular topic again i will assign you some batch and all you can join that regularly we are taking the revision session regularly we are taking taking some revision session like suppose your course get completed after one month you are getting the link tomorrow we have the excel revision it will be on sunday for the 3 hours so we have the revision session and all all these just stuff are there you don't need to worry about all these things like revisions and all every time you are going to get all these stuff suppose santosh i have some individual problem we can connect with some extra time and we can make it complete my availability of the computer computer is around 18, 18 hours definitely if you are going to call me it might be i am not going to respond because a little bit i am also busy but if you are going to text me in the whatsapp 100% i am going to give you the response whenever i am i will get the time i am going to give the response and this is my normal practice people are asking me santos what about the demo session i am not going to give the demo i am going to take the actual session you people can consider it as a demo session you people can consider it as a demo session i am going to take the actual session initially two three session will be the demo session excluding the two day session this session i am not going to consider it as a demo because today i was just about the road map and all what are the course content what we